der Ursprung für die Entwicklung des Safety Trucks äh, liegt in dem äh, Grundsatz, dass das Thema Sicherheit und Safety in der Heuerwelt äh, insgesamt einen sehr, sehr hohen Stellenwert hat und all unsere Transporte ähm, äh, sicher durchgeführt werden sollen. Die Bitumenwelt lebt seit äh, 60 Jahren mit einem mehr oder minder unverändertem äh, Equipment. Die Bitumenauflieger, was das Thema äh, Sicherheit für die Fahrer angeht, sind äh, seit fast 60 Jahren unverändert, sodass es hier höchste Zeit wurde, einen neuen, ähm, einen neuen Trailer, eine neue Trailer-Generation äh, zu entwickeln. Das haben wir äh, begonnen mit der Firma äh, Kesbauer zusammen in Bezug auf äh, Absturz, Sicherung und äh, sichere Entladung äh, von Heißbeton. As Kesbauer, we are a company with the widest product range. Uh, we do many different types of trailers, from curtain siders to stainless steel bitumen tankers, from low beds to uh, box type trailers. With these, with this wide product range, uh, many different products are being transported uh, with our products. For each type of product, we listen to our customers very carefully and very deeply. Uh, specifically for this project, uh, Hoyer Bitumen Logistics Company came to us asking how we, how we could uh, improve the safety for the drivers of the bitumen tankers uh, during their unloading procedures. And this is how it started. The driver arrives at the site. First, the battery of the remote control should be checked. If the batteries are full, the light will be green and the driver can continue with the discharge operation. If the battery is running low, the light will turn red. Then the driver should change the batteries before beginning the operation. Before the operation begins, the driver puts on the EU-approved protective equipment. The driver attaches the hose to begin discharge process. The tanker is ready for discharge. The driver can begin the discharge process with the remote control. The driver can move six meters away from the back of the tanker, hence out of the immediate danger zone. By twisting and pulling out the red button, which is also the button for emergency stop, the remote control status is changed from off to on. Remote control is now on standby state. Buttons 7 and 8 are pressed simultaneously. The remote control makes connection with the receiver inside the panel, but no valve is opened. The remote operates with a PIN code. This is an extra safety measure implemented by Kersbohrer to prevent accidental usage of the remote control. Once the PIN code is entered, the top airline valve opens automatically. This is to ensure accidents that result from vacuum risk in the tank due to unopened air valve are prevented. The red indicator bar rises to show that the valve is open. The driver can open the bottom valve pressing button number 1. At this point, inside the tank, the pneumatic bottom valve, the first closure unit on the discharge line, is opened. Driver presses button number 2 to turn on the butterfly valve. At this point inside the tank, the pneumatic butterfly valve, the second closure unit on the discharge, is opened and since the hose is connected, the discharge begins. Once the discharge is complete, the driver presses the red emergency button to turn off the system. Once the remote control is turned off, all valves, top airline valve, pneumatic bottom valve, pneumatic butterfly valve, that have been opened for discharge are simultaneously closed. Safety bitumen tanker can be operated by using the panel. The power button on the side of the panel is turned to on position, giving power to the system and readying it for operation. The first button is used to choose control type. Safety bitumen tanker can be operated by remote control and by the panel. Once a control type, remote or panel is chosen, the other control system cannot be used except for emergency controls. The second button is for opening and closing of the top airline valve. The third button operates the pneumatic bottom valve. 
The last button operates the pneumatic butterfly valve and if the hose is connected, the discharge begins. In case of an emergency, the driver can push in the emergency stop switch and all valves that were opened for discharge are automatically and simultaneously closed, sealing the tank and the liquid in it. Alternatively, pressing the emergency button on the panel and all the valves that were opened for discharge are automatically and simultaneously closed. Also der, der Unterschied von der alten Technik zur neuen Technik ist halt, dass ich äh, mehr Sicherheit für mich als Fahrer habe. Eurobitium mandates that any person within six meters of the discharge area, irrespective of their duties, must wear personal protective equipment. Eurobitium also states the safety equipment will protect the driver as a last resort. Kersborger overcomes this obstacle with the remote control for discharge. The remote control puts the driver at least six meters away from the discharge area, hence getting him out of the most vulnerable zone described by Eurobitium. In case of an emergency, the driver already operating away from the vulnerable zone can push in the emergency button in one second and move away as quickly as possible. The remote control affords vital distance and time. In the old systems, the driver had to stand next to the tanker and was within the vulnerable zone where most of the accidents happen. In case of an emergency, the driver has to operate the lever at the rear of the tank, which is within the vulnerable zone, and loses critical distance and time for an escape to safety. Safety bitumen tanker operates with electro-pneumatic valves. Once the emergency button either on the remote or the panel are pressed, the system is deactivated and all valves are automatically and simultaneously closed. The liquid in the tank is isolated by two closure units, preventing any accidents from spilling into the tank. In the old systems, the emergency lever can be pushed to stop the liquid discharge, only closing one unit. The tank is not fully isolated unless the second valve is closed as well. The manual operation to close the valve is a laborious process and takes a long time, whereas in safety bitumen tanker, the push of one emergency button automatically and simultaneously closes down all the valves, ensuring better safety as well as saving time and energy. In safety bitumen tanker, the top airline valve opens automatically at the beginning of the discharge process. This safety measure is implemented by Kersborger to ensure accidents that result from vacuum risk in the tank due to closed air valves are prevented. The only thing the driver has to do is to operate the remote control or the panel in a safe and easy manner. In the old systems, the driver had to climb on top of the tank to manually open the airline valve. This increased the chance of accidents by falling off the tank. This laborious process is redundant in the safety bitumen tanker, saving time and energy. Also ich persönlich fühle fühl mich sehr, sehr sicherer.